so it's been 24 hours um, um, once I set up the tank and then I have my um, I have my skimmer still breaking in so there's a lot of micro bubbles inside the tank and over here I have uh, my Chato along with some ceramic media that was in the refugium uh, hopefully to see the tank so that's the current progress right now um, and I'll show you other uh, tips and tricks that I'm doing for this tank. So one thing that I'm going to do for the refugium chamber, um, since I have a lot of equipment that's kind of blocking away uh, the way for uh, to make, you know, come get one of those acrylic baskets, is I'm making my own um, chamber um, out of, they're called, uh, mesh plastic canvas, which you can get them at, I think, Michael's or um, an Amazon. You know, I got this for five dollars. Uh, I think it comes with uh, four sheets. Uh, so what you, what I did, you can make it square um, or rectangle. I mean, and what I did is I made it round. Um, as you can see, you just zip tie it together um, and zip and do a piece in the bottom. Um, what this allows me to do is kind of squeeze it if I need to. So now that we have our clean chato and our um, chato basket, uh, we're going to fill it up with um, the ceramics, um, as I mentioned, on the bottom. I'll just start putting that in there. Then we have um, our Chato, our clean Chato. So, just gonna grab the whole bunch and just stuff it in there. Uh, spread it out a little bit from top to bottom. Then, here you go. So we have a plain Chato uh, cycled media over here uh, from my 120. Um, I inspected it and I was, hopefully there's no hitchhikers on that. But we'll see, well, let's put it on right now. So here we are, uh, American Refugium light on. Uh, let's try to get that moved around a little bit so it faces the Chato. go and then we're gonna just drop this in all the way down and there you go so some micro bubbles um, let's wait for the skimmer to settle in So a couple things that I forgot to mention, I added two packs of Chemi Pure Blue. I also have Marine Pure Gems in the bottom chamber. As you can see, uh, the skimmer is already pulling out some gunk in there. Uh, one annoying thing is the noise so far on the spin stream. It's, it has a clicking sound. I'm not sure if you can hear it. Um, I don't mind so much the water noise from the skimmer, but the clicking sound is driving me crazy. Uh, they say that it should settle in and for, I'm not sure, a couple days or a couple weeks, but I might have to change that out if it doesn't stop clicking. I finished filling up the tank yesterday. And then today I put some mysa shrimp in it, um, some frozen mysa shrimp uh, to start the cycle, along with the uh, clean chato uh, that I, uh, from my previous video, and some ceramic media that um, 
from my old tank that that um, was in the refugium. So tomorrow I'll be receiving um, some ecopods from um, algae barn, um, but I did forget to buy some phytoplankton. So I might have to run to Petco and grab some one of those Seachem uh, phytoplankton. So um, we'll see um, on the next video when I. Um, put the pods in and um, that's it for now if you have any other questions or any comments uh, just post them down below um, thanks again and please uh, share like and subscribe to my channel uh, if you want to see more videos thank you